Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is another lab video on Amazon Web Service. Today we will be learning about Amazon Dynamo database. Create an Amazon Dynamo database table. Enter data into an Amazon Dynamo database table. Query an Amazon Dynamo database table and delete an Amazon Dynamo database table. So let's get started. What is Amazon Dynamo database? Amazon Dynamo database is a fast and flexible no SQL database service for all applications that need consistent single digit millisecond latency at any scale. It is a fully managed database and supports both documents and the key value data models. Its flexible data model and reliable performance make it a great fit for mobile, web gaming, advertisement technology, internet of things and many other applications. In this lab, you will create a table in Amazon Dynamo database to store information about a music library. You will then query the music library and finally delete the Amazon Dynamo database table. To start the lab, go to your browser and type amazon.quicklabs.com in your URL tab. Click on sign in. You can sign in with your Google account. Go to the search bar and type introduction to Amazon Dynamo database and hit enter. Click on the first link. Here we can see that 40 minute is the resource time allocated for this lab by Quick Labs cloud platform. This is a free lab. But for some more advanced lab, we need to purchase credits. We can see that the basics of Amazon Web Service Dynamo database is explained. Topics covered is mentioned here, which we already discussed. Now click on the Start Lab to get AWS Management Console login. This will start the process of provisioning your lab resources. Open your lab by clicking Open Console. Now you get the AWS Management Console login. Let's start by doing our first task. Task 1 Create a new table. In this task, you will create a new table in Dynamo database named Music. Each table requires a primary key that is used to partition data across Dynamo database servers. A table can also have a short key. The combination of primary key and short key uniquely identifies each item in a Dynamo database table. In the AWS Management Console, click services and then click dynamo db click create table for table name type music for primary key type artist and leave string selected select add short key then in the new field type song and leave string selected your table will use default settings for indexes and provisioned capacity. Click create. The table will be created in less than a minute. Now let's go to task 2. Add data. In this task, you will add data to the music table. A table is a collection of data on a particular topic. Each table contains multiple items. An item is a group of attributes that is uniquely identifiable among all of the other items. Items in Dynamo database are similar in many ways to rows in other database systems. In DynamoDB, there is no limit to the number of items you can store in a table. Each item is composed of one or more attributes or columns. An attribute or column is a fundamental data element, something that does not need to be broken down any further. For example, an item in a music table contains attributes such as song, and artist. Attributes in Dynamo database are similar to columns in other database systems, but each item or row can have different attributes or different columns. When you write an item to a Dynamo database table, only the primary key and short key, if used, are required. Other than these fields, the table does not require a schema. This means that you can add attributes to one item that may be different to the attributes of other items. Click the items tab and then click create items. For artist string type Pink Floyd. For song string type money. These are the only required attributes but you will now add additional attributes. To create an additional attribute Click the plus sign to the left of the song and then click append. 
In the drop down list, select string. A new attribute row will be added. For the new attribute, enter in the field type album. In value, type the dark side of the moon. Add another new attribute by clicking the plus sign to the left album, then click append. In the drop down list, select number. A new number attribute will be added. For the new attribute, enter year in field and type 1973 in value. Click save to store the new item with its four attributes. The item will appear in the console. Now create a second item using these attributes. Note that this item has an additional attribute called genre. This is an example of each item being capable of having different attributes without having to predefine or table schema. Create a third item using these attributes. Once again, this item has a new length seconds attribute identifying the length of the song. This demonstrates the flexibility of a NoSQL database. There are also faster ways to load data into Dynamo database, such as using AWS Data Pipeline, programmatically loading data or using one of the free tools available on internet. Task 3. Modify an existing item. You now notice that there is an error in your data. In this task, you will modify an existing item. Click PSV. Change the year from 2011 to 2012. Click Save. The item is now updated. Task 4. Query the table. There are two ways to query a Dynamo database table. Query and Scan. A query operation finds items based on primary key and optionally short key. It is fully indexed, so it runs very fast. Click the drop down list showing scan and change it to query. Fields for the partition key, which is the same as primary key and short key are now displayed. Enter the details. Partition key type PSY. Short key type Gangnam style.
click start search. The song quickly appears in the list. A query is the most efficient way to retrieve data from a Dynamo DB table. Alternatively, you can scan for an item. This involves looking through every item in a table, so it is less efficient and can take significant time for larger tables. Click the drop down list showing query and change it back to scan. Click add filter. Then for inter attribute, type year. Change string to number. For inter value, type 1971 and click start search. Only the song released in 1971 is displayed. Task 5 Delete the table. In this task, you will delete the music table, which will also delete all the data in the table. Click Delete table on the confirmation panel. Click Delete. The table will be deleted. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed this lab. Now return to the AWS Management Console. On the navigation bar, click the account name and then click sign out. Click in lab. This is it for today. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and also comment down your thoughts on this video. Thank you very much.